But it really began when uh, we made the first video, Crying Time Again, and that got broadcast on TV. Um, before I knew it was all around the world, and uh, people picked up on it, and press picked up on it, and that was where it all began, really. Basically, I, I co-wrote a couple of songs with Raymond Froggart back in the 80s and uh, the very early 90s and um, the friendship was there and has been ever since. I wasn't expecting the surgery to be as severe as it was, um, but it's been a long time for recovery and we're, we're getting there now slowly. There has been a couple of times when I felt like packing it all in and getting a proper job as they say but you know it's it's songwriting you you're always going to get knocked down and people you know put things in your way to, to make yourself dead but you get over it and just carry on well you know what it's not anymore country music has always always been big in britain i mean as i said raymond frogger was one of the biggest country stars this this country's ever had um so it's always been big in britain and in Ireland at the moment, it's enormous. Everybody's listening to Irish country music. <laughs> Difficult question. I'm not worried about what the ex thinks. <laughs> um, my kids. Yeah, my, my one lad did take up a little bit of music, but um, he's now carried on, got himself a normal job. Um, music is music. <laughs> Family parties is normally a place where we all get drunk and just get a guitar out. And obviously, I've got several brothers and members of my family that play guitar, and we just have a good sing song and get on with it. Absolutely. Life always sends a challenge, and you just get over them. Well, for me, I mean, it's, um, it's not new territory. As I said, Raymond Froggart, I co wrote a couple of songs with Raymond Froggart, and they were released. Um, so it's, it's not a new territory. Obviously it's an honour when somebody records your songs and you just don't know who might be listening that, that wants to record a song. The best part is that you, you know, you, you, you've written the song, you've recorded the song and somebody else picks it up and it's an honour. It's an honour that they want to sing it. Because of the amount of airplay that I was getting and still getting and the TV shows that are playing my videos, I think it just pushes you forward to become a stronger person inside, to, to realise that, you know, life's good, get on with it. <laughs> I wouldn't know the answer to that. <laughs> I'd hope so. Surreal, that was really, really strange. And I can remember, it's, it's about three and a half, four years ago now. Um, I must admit I was absolutely shocked that after all the years of struggle trying to learn and writing music and eventually it just, it just makes you feel like you know, you've made a big step. Um, funny enough, I don't get, often get spotted in Western Supermare because nobody really knows what I do but um, when we go to other places such as Scotland and Ireland, yeah, I get recognised and it's, it's a great feeling. Yeah, we're going back to Ireland, take three. <laughs> yeah, we're going back to Ireland next week um, to meet Phil Matt down at the Armagh City Hotel. Um, and then we're returning again to Belfast and to Dublin in several weeks time to do some more promotion with the album and the DVD. This very week we're releasing a new DVD and a new album um, to coincide with a, another trip to Ireland. <laughs>